tutorial, you'll learn the basics of how to play. Objectives are displayed on the left. These are your gameplay goals. Confirmed. Move selected units by clicking the right mouse button on a position. Strike responding. Push up to that point. Strike craft ready. Hold shift when issuing commands to cue them. Cleared for move. Strike respond. Next, you'll learn how to control the game camera. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate and pitch the camera. Try this now. Press backspace to reset the camera to its default orientation. Panning the camera is just as easy. Press the arrow keys on your keyboard. Or hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse. Go for carrier. Information about selected units is displayed in the bottom left. Command buttons like attack and move are displayed in the bottom right. Carrier here. Stro this is a command carrier. It produces units for combat and resourcing. The command carrier is your mobile headquarters. Durable but lightly armed. Carrier copy. You can press the home or tilde key to select your carrier at any time. Move the carrier to the marked position. New heading, adjust. Confirmed. Let Press the F key to focus the game camera on selected units. The camera will follow focused units while still allowing you to zoom and rotate. This is easy. Pan the camera in any direction to break focus. On their screens. This is in. Press the space bar to open the sensors manager. It's getting out there. Black for split. You can select and move units within the sensors manager. Red icons represent enemy units. White icons represent your units. Your selected units are green. Orange and blue triangles represent resources. Blue domes represent the sensor range or vision of your units. Enemy units within contact range are marked with a red circle. As your units get closer, they'll be in sensor range of the enemy. At this point, you will see each enemy unit clearly. When issuing an attack move command, you'll see a red line drawn between the selected unit and the mouse cursor. When this line appears broken, the selected unit cannot fire on its target. This indicates that high terrain or an obstacle is blocking the unit's line of fire. You will therefore have to move units around the obstacle or onto high ground in order to achieve a clear line of fire. Select your light attack vehicles and use them to destroy the enemy units. You can right click an enemy unit to attack or press A and left click to attack move. To command your units to attack a group of enemies, hold the control key and drag a box around the target enemy units. Got eyes on hostile. Alert issued. Hostile contacts are being tracked. Output to minimum on Strike craft taking effective fire. Hostile strike craft down. Select the command carrier now. The command carrier has a unique power shunting system used to manage combat and production capability. Add all available power to the turret network system.
Weapon systems online. Enemy contacts on the board. Enemy forces are attacking the carrier. Destroy them. Ready, set. Tracking target. Weapon systems offline. Alert, LAV. With the right power distribution, the command carrier can hold its own in combat. Be advised, C2 carrier C2 repair system. system. Selecting a unit and pressing the Move or Attack Move command button displays the terrain overlay. While the terrain overlay is active, some terrain is color shaded to display its relative height. The three colors of the terrain overlay represent high ground, low ground, and neutral ground. When a unit takes position on the high ground, it deals extra damage when attacking units on lower terrain. The enemy have deployed armored units. You'll have to find another way to defeat this enemy force. Railguns are most effective when firing from long range. However, they can be easily overwhelmed by short range strike craft, like light attack vehicles. Style designated, mark bearing. Go for ranged. Control group one designated, control group two designated. Assign a control group by holding the control key and pressing a number key. Ready. Select the units in a control group by pressing the corresponding number key. Use the boost ability on your light attack vehicles to intercept the enemy. Tracking Select the light attack vehicles and left-click the boost ability button, then issue a move command. Copy. Target set. As vehicle crews score kills in combat, they'll earn veterancy. Veterancy improves combat ability. To see veterancy, select the vehicle and mouse over the ability button in the lower right corner of the command panel. Craft destroyed. Veteran units also have a veterancy badge visible on their health bar in the main game viewport. Prepare and preserve veteran units. When your forces are outnumbered, veteran troops can turn the tide of battle. Reading. Strike craft destroyed. Move confirmed. Link up with that rail gun. Escort formation. Green line confirmed. Go for carrier. Systems online. Hostile armor incoming. Target set. a mixed attack force. No single unit type will excel at destroying this target. Ready. However, aircraft can attack this force with impunity. We've Select the command carrier to launch aircraft. Control group four designate. Launch aircraft by selecting the carrier and clicking the launch ability button. Attention. After left clicking the button, left click a target location to launch your aircraft. While deployed, Aircraft can be selected and issued commands just like other vehicles. Once their ammunition is depleted, aircraft will automatically return to the command carrier to reload and repair. Go ahead. Hostile strike craft down. Go Hostile front. armor eliminate. Armor copy. Target to front. Strike craft taking effective fire. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Alert, light attack vehicle destroyed. This is the captain. Armored vehicle has been destroyed. On our way. Strike fighter approach vector dialed in. Strike. Excellent work. You have completed the tutorial. You're ready to explore the vast deserts of Capri.
Our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. against multiple coalition bases. The northern frontier is under attack. The launch of our expedition carrier, the Capisi, has been accelerated. This is the captain of the Sajet carrier, Capisi. All crews, Hangar 5. Stand by to initiate rollout sequence. Loading control module now. Stand by. Engage main drive. Laneway clear, all stations green. Captain has the helm. Ample clean blue on all decks, full complement aboard. Shutter test green. Get set, come up. See if they have any new reports to share on the current AO. Online at 4.3, power plant reading 5.9. Cycling at 30 second increments until 99 at 7. Bringing systems online. Fleet manager online. Resource control system online. Unit status online. Command system online. Objective tracking online. All control systems successfully installed and online. Systems confirmed. Rachel, redeploy to your base runner. Copy that. Attention all stations. This is Fleet Intelligence for the expedition carrier Capisi. I will be issuing all mission objectives through this channel. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Vehicle production, resource salvaging, and combat operations. Time is of the essence, so let's run through these quickly. Fleet operations? Is your channel clear? Affirmative. I will be providing all non-critical updates on unit production, research, resource salvaging, and all carrier systems through this channel. Copy that. Stand by to initiate production test. 
go for carrier. First, deploy a salvager from the command carrier Capisi. Salvager online. Stand by to commence resource test. Order the salvager to gather nearby resources located here. Fine. Proceed to site. Rachel, the Capisi support cruiser has suffered a mechanical failure and requires immediate repairs before departure. Reference your scan reports for density variations. I'll use your base runner to repair the support cruiser located here. That unit is down. Get it back up and running. Initiating repairs. CU field depleted. Repairs completed. Good work, Rachel. Stand by for combat test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first step is to upgrade the Capisi's advanced manufacturing facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. PC reading. Research completed. Light attack vehicle fabrication now online. Carrier copies. Produced three light attack vehicles from the Capisi. Light attack vehicle in service. Light attack vehicle online. Light attack vehicles ready. Target drones are now ready for weapons testing. Something on the Use the light attack vehicles to target and destroy the drones located here. Ready. Systems go. Sajet Carrier Capisi, we are go for launch. Launch okay. command confirmed. Prepare to open outer door. Fire all charges. Disengage launch. ratio in line. Tracking solid. Doors at 50%. Looking good. Bring engines to speed and move out. Outer doors at full aperture and secure. She's all yours, Captain. Stations, this is your captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find and retrieve the Draghi object. Lying at the heart of the Great Bandit Desert, deep inside Galcian territory. We believe it holds the key to our survival on this planet. The journey will be perilous. But if successful, we will change the course of history forever and secure our future for generations to come. Personal Log, Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. 
As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right, that what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe.